Hello everyone. So let's today we will learn how we can install, download and configure the SAP GUI on your Windows operating system. So let's open here that link which you need to download first. So you have to come in into the link here. So let me come into that link. So you can see here, we have a mail here. In this mail, you will have a link. So just copy this GUI download links and go to your browser, paste here, press enter. You will see here, SAP GUI 7.4 GIF are there. You can just download it. So it is asking download anyway. You can download it. So once, see it is start downloading. So once download this one, you can check your folder where download is happened. So now you can see I have downloaded here. So go to this and unzip this folder first. So, and once unzip the folder, you can just double click on this, double click on this, double click on GUI folder, then double click on window, double click on Win32. Now you will see here bottom, one of the setup all. You should just double click on setup all. So now you should here asking, you can put it yes. Now your SAP GUI software is start installing on your personal laptop. So it is asking SAP front end installer you can click next so now what are the tool you want to install it so you 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 should deselect or select so i am going to select all so see you can see all the tools are selected here hcp gui 7.5 windows okay gui installer everything okay vex explorer and everything is going to selected here now then you have to click on next so now this is the path where your GUI going to install. So if you want to change this path, you can change it. Else you can keep it is and click on next. And again, you should click on next. Again, you should click on next. So it is start your loading a SAP install. GUIs after this. So you have to wait while your complete component selection is being processed. So this may take a few minutes. So you can see here, it is taking and updating how many percentage are loaded or installed. So we have to wait to complete this. So once this would be installed, then that geo icon automatically should be on your laptop or desktop or personal computer desktop would be available. So let's wait to finish this. So it may take a few minutes to complete these installations. So it would be all the tools of BW or any other, uh, you can say SAP uh, GUI, all with a tool is going to install, uh, like uh, reporting tools we have installed, okay, and other GUI based configurations, all is going to install here. So wait a minute to complete it. Now you can see how 98% or 99%, uh, 100% uh, it has been loaded uh, or installed your SAP GUI. So now it is asking, okay, some errors are there. So you can ignore these two errors. So you, then system will ask you to reboot your 
complete process now. You can close this window. And now you can see, and on your doc desktop, you will have automatically GUI login. Okay, so now you can configure it. So how you can configure it is double click on this. So it will ask you, okay, to run this. Click on execute. So now it is running. So wait a minute. So it is opening. Yes, you can see this is a new windows here. So this is the SAP GUI you can see here. So already, okay, someone is already added here, ECC system, you will see here. So now here we will have our options, okay? You can go here, okay? You will have here options, okay? Click on options button. So here you will see a lot of options are available, okay? So you will have themes like uh, blue crystal themes, signature themes, enjoy themes, system. So there are so many themes are classic themes. So let's, I'm going to configure here, SAP configures. Okay, like signature themes. Okay, under this, you will have multiple di visual designs options like font setting, themes preview, boarding, okay, define custom class. Okay, so options are there. So, based on your requirement, you can select it. Okay, so let's here I am putting this as a okay, as default. Okay, so, so similarly, we have another options here. Okay, so many more options are there. Okay, so if you have done you can just click apply and OK buttons. So once you did, now I am going to add, okay? So even you can see here, you will have an options like, X, okay, workspace views, explore views, okay? Previews, some kind of list views. So all the views would be here. So as per your choice, you can set anyone. Let's see, I am going for a workspace views. So this is a workspace views, okay? Even one more options are there here. If you click here, go to about SAP logon. You can see here, what are the version basically installed. The release version is 7.5 final release. Okay, and this is a file name and version you can see here. Okay, build and package are there. So these are the basically, we have a few detail about your SAP GUI. Okay, now even we can see here options like new, edit or delete. So what is you want? Let's see if you want to delete this one. So click here, you can delete it. If you want to edit anything, you can go here and edit it. You can see, you can make some changes on this, okay? So if you want to any changes server, if you want to put some changes, let's see SAP server. So you can make changes on and click okay. So that changes would be reflect here over SAP GUI, okay? So let's here, I want to add something, okay? So how you can add? So based on my mail, you can see here, Okay, there is an option. Okay, so how basically we can add it. Okay, so let I'll show you here. See, this is a, we have a detail like server detail. Okay, I would like to add SAP access into GUI. So you can copy this application server on GUI, go to here, go to new. Okay, connections. And now you have to add here. So let's see here. You can choose, click next. Okay, let's say I'm putting here SAP ECC, okay, 6.0, okay, and put it here as a application server. And also you can see here, there is two options are there, group and server selections, okay, and custom application server. So I will go with the custom server, application server, okay, give your descriptions, parameters, and your server applications. And you can put your like a system instance, so you can put it instance number here, 17, and your system ID is EH, okay? You can skip SAP routing string, not required now. Okay, once done, you can have a next. Okay, again, click on next. Okay, no default, you can have it here language. If you want a specific language, you can select here, but default is English, so default will be there. Now click finished. So now you can see SAP, Okay, you can see here SAP ECC. Okay, icon would be here in the top of, okay, on this. So now you can double click. Okay, so login window will open. See, it is, okay, window is opened here. So now, okay, I'm going to login it. 
okay how you can log in into here so i have a login detail here you can log in using this so let's see i am logging into here putting okay i am putting here okay so there is some issues so let me try with other user okay so it is not working so let me try with other users so so similarly you can use this one you can log in it okay so once you log in it you will okay able to log log into the system so if you want to check more options here you can if you want to log off you can log in. so this is the way how we can use to install your systems okay and uh, gui or not okay okay then yeah thank you so much bye